All right, this one goes out to all you sickos out there who don't want to win a game of Pokemon cards the respectable way by taking all six prize cards. Mule decks are back in a big way with the release of Temporal Forces, thanks to the new Great Tusk with its Ground Collapse attack. Ground Collapse costs two colorless energy and discards the top card of your opponent's deck. But if you played an Ancient Supporter from your hand during your turn, you get to discard three extra cards. So that's a potential mill of four cards every single turn. And Great Tusk is difficult to knock out for a single prize Pokemon. It has 140 hit points. And with the new Ace Spec Hero's Cape, you can make Great Tusk even more difficult to knock out. Hero's Cape gives the Pokemon it's attached to plus 100 HP. Hero's Cape combined with Ancient Booster Energy Capsule means that your opponent will regularly have to contend with 200 to 240 hit point Great Tusks while getting their resources discarded every turn. Great Tusk Mill had been tearing it up at City Leagues in Japan and then finished in the top 16 of the Fukuoka Champions League 2. In today's gameplay, I'm going to be piloting the top 16 list from the Fukuoka Champions League against Jesse Parker with an updated Giratina V-Star deck. I'm stoked to get to the action, but before we do, let's hear a word from my sponsor, Full Grip Games. Temporal Forces singles and sealed products are available for pre-order now at fullgripgames.com. Get your decks up to date and ready for rotation with the new Ace Spec, Ancient, and Future cards from this exciting expansion. Shopping at FullGripGames.com directly supports the content that I create here on Tricky Gym. So thank you so much for placing a pre-order at FullGripGames.com. Now, let's get to the gameplay. All right, good luck. Good luck. Draw for turn. I'll start by looking at my prizes. Iron Leaves. I think I'm going to need him. Super odds in there. Nothing too crazy. Would like to get that super odd out of the deck. So we need to get to seven in the loss zone. So I do just kind of have to start going through my deck a little bit. So I will use Buddy Poffin. I already know what's in my prizes, so don't even have to check. We'll go right ahead and get two Comfe off this Buddy Poffin. I'll even play an S-Ball. I got the Tina V already. I have the Iron Leaves, so might as well just go get Reninja off the Nest Ball. I will not put Artisan in play because I don't want to give him any more Tusks. Either way, you're going to draw too many cards. I need to get to seven in the Lost Zone so I can attack him. Or you just attach over three turns, but either way, none of them seem good. Fast is all I know, baby. Flower selecting. I will also own this Grass Energy. Yeah, I have no idea how to play this matchup, for real. <laughs> um... <laughs> well, because like I could just go to four in the lot of zone and then just try to spam cram. I don't care about you stalling me, so I don't care about filling my bench because I have a lot of switch cards in the deck. I actually think it might be best just to power up a Giratina V. So like I'm going to bench Giratina V. I'll bench Cramorant because I might attack with him first. And now I have to decide, do I want to attach retreat and do another flower selecting? I think you just attach. And maybe... Yeah, I think I'm chilling. I think I'm just going to attach to Comfe and then pass to you. Draw. I've got a real nice opening hand with a double turbo energy, artisan, and explorer's guidance. I mean, this is the perfect tusk start. Wow. Start with artisan and use its. And the reason I'm using the artisan first is because I don't want to have to choose to keep any tusk that I see off of this explorer's guidance. Explorer's guidance. <coughs> Excuse me there. It's time for... A refreshing beverage. A refreshing polar seltzer. <laughs> mm. <coughs> Explorer's Guidance is look at six, keep two. It's not a lot, so you don't want to have to choose an important card like Tusk off of the Explorer's Guidance if you can help it at all. Looks like we do have all four Tusk in the deck. Great news. And this is like the coolest part about the deck. There's oh, a Comfy in here. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that. Yeah, it just allows you to dig an extra couple cards per turn. If your Tusk gets knocked out, yeah. you can promote it with the emergency board. It reminds me how decks we were playing the amazing Jirachi in the air balloon. Yep. Off of Artisan, I'll get Great Tusk, which goes straight to my bench. Play Explorer's Guidance. I get to look at the top six cards of my deck. Keep two, discard the rest. 
Super Rod is a really good card, and so is Nest Ball. So I can go get Radiant Greninja. Discard Mimikyu, Nest Ball, Psychic, and Hisuian Heavy Ball. Keep Nest Ball and Super Rod. Giratina has <coughs> Giratina has Shred anyway, so Mimikyu is not the best card against this matchup. Yeah, that card's pretty much useless. Play Nest Ball and get that Radiant Greninja. You don't need to show the cards you keep. Yeah, I'm showing you. <laughs> this is a production. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Getting energy into the discard pile is really good because it allows me to use Seda's Vitality. So we got the one Psychic there now, and I can get another energy with Concealed Cards. Use Concealed Cards, discard Fighting from my hand, and draw two. And that is a really good draw. Play Nest Ball. At this point, I could get Comfy even. Nah, I'm not going to get Comfy yet. Nest Ball for another Tusk. Trekking Shoes. I'll keep. Trekking Shoes. I'll keep. Attach double turbo energy to Great Tusk. And Ground Collapse. Discard the top four cards of your deck because I played an Ancient Supporter this turn. Pretty good. I'll draw for turn. Play Chorus's Experiment. Hello, Energy. I think I will keep these three cards. And then I'll use Flower Selecting. Get the Tina V Star out of here. Wait, hold up, hold up, real quick, pause. We have the official translation for no Buddy Poffin. Really? Let me fact check, you, buddy. Yeah, here it is, right here. Buddy, Buddy Poffin, baby. This is good to know. That's sick. I that love is that sick. name. I do like that That's name really too. That's really cool. <laughs> I like that it calls back to the Buddy Buddy Rescue from. What was that card again? You and your opponent can both recover a Pokemon from your discard pile to your hand. I actually play Buddy Buddy Rescue in some of my GLC decks. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Straight up. Let's see if it's possible for me to get to seven right now. So if I go here, it would be five. Yeah, I don't think so. I think next turn I'm attacking with Tina. I'm going to attach for turn to Giratina V. Retreat into Cramorant. And spit innocently for 110. Tusk survives it. Draw for turn. We're cooking, dude. We're cooking. I mean, the deck is providing. I'm feeling fantastic. Start off with Artisan. To thin the deck just a little bit more, I am looking for an Ancient Supporter this turn. With Artisan, I'll get Great Tusk. Go straight to the bench. Look at this Tusk army I've assembled. <laughs> Gotta get out your comfy, man. What the heck? Conceal cards. Nice. Professor Seda's Vitality. Accelerate a Fighting Energy from my discard pile to two Tusks. And draw three cards. Attach Psychic Energy to my Bench Tusk. Bravery Charm to my Bench Tusk. I'll use Ground Collapse. Discard the top four cards of your deck. Okay. Draw. Attach for turn to Giratina V. I definitely know what I need to do in game two. <laughs> <laughs> like... And you can see how this deck yeah. was able to do so well in a best-of-one format. Yeah. They get yeah, into game yeah, one, yeah, yeah, yeah. and they can't adapt for game two. I need to find grass energy before you mill it, so I'm going to play Chorus. I'll take these three, put these two in the Lost Zone. I will spit innocently for the knockout. Tusk goes down. You fought valiantly, Great Tusk. Well done. Promote my backup Tusk and draw. Use Artisan. It looks as if I did prize both of my emergency board. So uh, I think I'm just going to fail the artisan this turn. There's really no point in getting the comfy out since both my emergency board are prized. Sad. And it I'm only, not taking prizes. So Does it play two emergency board? Yep. Play Earthen Vessel. Discard Artisan. And with Earthen Vessel, I'll get two fighting energy. Use Concealed Cards. Play Professor Seda's Vitality to attach two basic energy from my discard pile to my ancient Pokemon and draw three cards. Oh, baby. Ah, this is feeling very powerful. Play Super Rod. I'll shuffle back in Mimikyu and Tusk. Nest Ball to go get Great Tusk. Don't want to spread myself too thin just in case you decide to start gusting my Radiant Greninja because I don't have a pivot for it, but... I think I'm doing okay right now. Attach double turbo energy from hand to my bench tusk. Ground collapse. Okay, draw for turn. Attach grass to Giratina V. 
I'll Prime Catcher the Tusk with the two fighting. And then I will Shred for 160 damage for the knockout. Toss goes down. Prime Catcher. Good. Give you a pivot. Get this Tina in the active. Also, Shred, just a nice attack for conserving resources. Yeah. Promote Great Tusk. Draw. Attach Hero's Cape to my active Tusk, giving it plus 100 HP. Counter Catcher, Radiant Greninja. I need you to miss an Ancient Supporter at some point. <laughs> Artisan. Ooh. Second round surprise. Ooh, it's fine. All right, fail the artisan. Poke gear. Take Seda's vitality. Play Seda's vitality and draw three. Checking shoes. Keep it. Play pal pad to shuffle Seda's vitality and explore's guidance back into the deck. And I'll use ground collapse to discard the top four. Pretty good. Pretty good. Draw for turn. Really need to find vacuum. I'm gonna attach jet to Comfy to move it up to the active and then use flower selecting. Go to seven in the law zone. I will play a Mirage Gate. Vacuum is not here. It's not looking good for Lost Tina right now. I will fail that. Just retreat. And you shred for 160 damage. Let's go, Tusk! <laughs> it's not looking good. Let's go! Hero's Cape! Draw. Conceal cards. Use Earthen Vessel and discard Earthen Vessel. And just fail that. Use Earthen Vessel to discard Mimikyu. I'll fail that as well. Play Professor Seda's Vitality. Attach Fighting Energy from my discard pile to my really huge Tusk on the bench and draw three. Attach Ancient Booster Energy Capsule to this tusk over here to give it 200 HP. Now you can start swinging with that one. I could if I wanted to, which against Arceus is actually kind of crazy because yeah, <laughs> you're one at KOing them. Use Ground Collapse. Discard the top four. All right. Draw for turn. I will play Iono. We'll shuffle our hand, put it at the bottom of our deck, and draw equal to our prizes. So Andrew gets six. I get four. I'll play Super Rod, shuffle three energy back into my deck. Might be able to survive two more turns, and I'll use Shred for the knockout. Tusk goes down. I'll promote this Tusk. Draw. All right. What if I two-hit KO this? Good. <laughs> it's probably not worth it. Probably not. <laughs> probably not. Probably no. just want to mill. No, <laughs> probably just want to stay, stay the course, Andrew. Stay the course. Artisan. Fail it. Poke gear. I'll take Explorer's Guidance. And it's becoming very obvious why this deck play is Pidgeot V now. Explorer's Guidance. Look at the top six. Keep Explorer's Guidance and Pidgeot. Discard these. Countercatcher Radiant Greninja. Ground Collapse. Oh, yeah. Pretty good. <laughs> Draw. I'll play Super Rod. No. Oh. <laughs> Pretty sure I'm not going to win, but I'm going to try. I think I should get Giratina V-Star so I can Lost Impact this thing. So I'm going to shuffle back Giratina V-Star and two energy. Then I will play Mirage Gate. I can't get both energy because then if I draw two, you can just mill me one more time. So I am going to just get one energy off the Mirage Gate. And then these two have to be Giratina V-Star and Switch Card. And that's how I win. Concealed cards. Ooh, almost. At least I can still attack. Switch cart. And shred for 160. Draw. Explorer's Guidance. Look at the top six cards of my deck. What is it, Andrew? Ooh, and I get to bad. keep two. Oh, great. I'll keep it. <laughs> you have Pidgeot V, yeah? Okay, I good. do, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll use Pal Pad to shuffle back in to Explorer's Guidance. This is me shuffling. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Make sure that's nice and shuffled. <laughs> Counter catcher Radiant Greninja. Ground collapse. Yes, sir. And I will draw my final card, which does not help me. So that's GG. Let me do it. Oh, pass. Pass. Oh, no more cards. I guess I lose.
Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> this is a really gnarly deck to play against, especially... Yeah, for sure. You can't make any, like, missteps, or you can just get milled. And you could see how in Japan's tournament structure with single-game Swiss, you don't have that opportunity to learn yeah, right. and then respond in game two. It's just, oh, you messed up. I won. It'd be interesting to see how that deck does in like a best of three setting because a mill decks are that are those kind of controlly decks that can win like two games just because it's almost like you're attacking. You're attacking the deck and you're not just waiting for your opponent to run out of cards and naturally by them just top decking. You're actively milling cards. I like that you have the ability to just end the game yourself whereas with control you're kind of like putting the ball in your opponent's court to hopefully they play fast enough where they mill themselves. One of the things that really impresses me the most about the deck is that Tusk is just so huge Oh, yeah. 140 HP with the hero's cape attached to it. It has 240 HP. Even with Bravery Charm or an Ancient Booster Energy Capsule, you're talking 190 hit points, 200 hit points for a basic Pokemon. And a lot of lists are only playing one copy of Lost Vacuum. That list is only yeah. playing one copy of Lost Vacuum. And Just it was prized yeah. that game. It was, yeah, yeah. Going to have a better plan going into game two. Definitely think I'm going to try to just loan Giratina V and then just try to naturally power it up instead of trying to find cards in my deck to power up quickly and then at that point you know i could have the cramorant so if you do end up attacking it i can still two shot you with cramorant so i think that's what i'm going to try to do this game i think that might be better but that's cool the mimic use in the deck though because uh if you evolve uh, up. there's other decks where if they try to just go lone pokemon like lone Arceus, you just promote Mimikyu, then you're like, okay, now you have to deal with this Mimikyu. So it forces them to bench other Pokemon. Only playing two rods, I gotta be more careful. I have to be careful. I cannot waste a rod like I did this yeah, game. My no, other rod sure. was prized and I'm not getting it. So yeah, it's like, no. yep, going into game two, I'm gonna be way more careful with my prize check. Yeah. Yeah. I will go first. Good luck. Good luck. Energy. Duh. I will nest ball. I'm just going to check vacuum and rod. There's a rod. There's a vacuum. Any other rods in my hand? I think I'm going to get Confei because I have the board in my hand. So off the nest ball, I will get Confei. Listen, when you lose a long game one, you cannot prize check anymore. You got to go, go, go. <laughs> that is very true. I'll attach emergency board to the bench Confei. And unfortunately, I don't have an energy, so I'll pass to you. Draw. Great top deck of Nest Ball there. I was really relying on this trekking shoes until we found Nest Ball. But with Nest Ball, I can get Radiant Greninja, hopefully, if it's in the deck, and draw some cards. Start off with Earthen Vessel, and I'll discard basic fighting energy. And let's see what we're working with. Comfy's here, Pidgeot, Mimikyu, and there is the Radiant Greninja. Great. All four tusks showed up to work. That's right. Hard working, great tusk. With Earthen Vessel, I'll get two Fighting Energy. Put those into my hand. Play Nest Ball. And with Nest Ball, I'll get Radiant Greninja, which goes straight to my bench. You're going to miss the Ancient Supporter, 100%. I might. If I did, I mean, whew, turn one, Ground Collapse for I'm gonna four. Need you to miss. Could be good. Conceal Carts. Trekking Shoes. Have to keep the Rod. Do I? What if the next card is a big one? <laughs> I'll keep the rod. God, the next card's a gear. God! You're so mad. <laughs> All right. I'll keep the rod. It's too important to discard. Attach Hero's Cape to Don Fit. Attach Hero's Cape to Great Tusk. Psychic energy to the active. Pass to you. Energy? Ooh, energy. Do I play Chorus? I don't know if I want to use Chorus. I think I just Abyss Seeking. I'll Colorus next turn if I don't find energy off as Abyss Seeking. That sounds like a plan. I'll attach water to Giratina V, and then I'll use Abyss Seeking to the top four cards in my deck, put two in my hand, and two in the Lost Zone. Off this Abyss Seeking, I'll take Nest Ball and Grass so I can go get my Crammer. I might need that at some point if you start attacking me. And it's your go. Draw. Ooh, the next card was a Poke Gear. Ooh. Should be able to find the ancient support of this turn. That's good. Conceal cards. Poke gear. We get to look at the top seven and pick any supporters we find there and put them into my hand. We'll take Explorer's Guidance. Had the choice between Explorer's Guidance and Seda's Vitality. Seda's Vitality is much better if I have two Tusk in play. At this point, I just need to dig for more Tusks. And I'll play Explorer's Guidance. Like what I'm finding. 
I have a Poke Gear, which can help me dig for another Ancient Supporter next turn. And Artisan are probably going to be the cards of choice. I can let everything else go. The Emergency Board Double Turbo Energy are tough to let go of, but these are way more important. Artisan down and use it to get another glorious tusk. Bravery Charm to Great Tusk. Psychic to the active and ground collapse to discard the top four no of your vacuum, deck. Please, no vacuum. Yay. I just really want that vacuum. I'll draw for turn. I'll use Artisan to go search my deck for a Cramorant. Since I'm having to two shot this thing anyways, I honestly think I'll play Chorus here and then just try to switch and attack with the Cramorant. So I, I need to start putting on some pressure. I also need to find a Psychic Energy, so I think I have to play this Chorus. That is the tough thing about just so sitting back just and attacking, sit right? Sitting back and because like if I sit here and do nothing, then I'm still two attacks away. You're getting like four attacks with that tusk. So yeah, you need to just go. You can't just sit here. I need to find a switching card because I definitely don't want to manually retreat. Like Colrus's experiment. Look at the top five cards. Oh, it is a switching card. Pretty easy choice here. Definitely just want to put on some type of pressure. I will find catcher your other tusk on the bench. I might flower select because, like, I would rather have the vacuum in hand. But I think that's the funny thing is, like, this deck wants to keep its super odds and vacuums in hand. But then you have the airy to, like, boom, you yep. know? I really don't want you to discard Iono. And I don't want you to discard a rod or a vacuum. So if I can get any of those into my hand, I would just be happy. So I'm going to flower select. <laughs> Goodbye, colors. Also, adding one to the Lost Zone is not bad either. There's more grass in deck. So I will attach... A basic Psychic to Giratina V. And then we will retreat into Cramorant for free because of the emergency board. And split innocently for 110 damage. And then maybe you miss an attack. I might. Draw. Oh boy, this hand is not great. Start with Artisan. Grab Great Tusk. Gotta find an Ancient Supporter. Ah, uh, you'll find one. Poke Gear 3.0. There's so many in there. We did find Explorer's Guidance yet again. Now the only way I'm attacking is if find a double turbo energy. Explorer's Guidance. Oh, baby. Gotta keep the Seda and double turbo. We'll sack the rest. Double turbo to the active. Ground clap for four. No vacuum. No! Yes! That's not good. Draw for turn. 100% attaching the grass here to Giratina V. Yeah, I'll spit this in for the knockout. Tusk down. Tusk down. Promote Tusk. Draw. Now, what am I supposed to do with my three counter catchers? You've got nobody. You're telling me, man. <laughs> Use Artisan to fish out Tusk number four. Play Pow Pad. Shuffle back in Seda's Vitality and Explorer's Guidance. I like to do that before I play the Sadist Vitality in my hands because I really just want to stream those ancient supporters. So I want to increase the odds that I draw into another one. And my hand is the pits. <laughs> so like I, you see why I'm putting more supporters back in because yeah. these guys are not helping. <laughs> You're going to need to find some stuff off these three cards. <laughs> yeah, yes. Play Sadist Vitality. Accelerates two fighting from my discard pile to my tusks and draw three. Bravery Charm to Tusk. Ground collapse for four. I mean, you got... Oh, my Iono. No. That's really bad. That's probably game losing right there. See, that's annoying because you have an extra turn. I mean, I'm not one-shotting that. So, I mean, I could, but... Well, I milled the vacuum. Milled the Iono. Oh, man. Draw for turn. I got a lost impact this thing. So, that's what we're going to do. I will attach a grass energy to Cramorant and retreat into Giratina V. And then I'll play the Super Rod to shuffle... Two grass and uh, water back into the deck. And then I'll play Mirage Gate. You can't. You're at five, bud. Oh, yeah. You did not see that. Well, actually, it's fine. Because I'm going to go to seven when I lost impact. So then I can Mirage Gate. I'll evolve to Giratina V-Star. And I will use Lost Impact for 280 damage for the knockout. And put these two energy in the Lost Zone. Tusk bites the dust with the hero's cape and all. I need to find something off this gear. That's what I'm saying. I, I, you, need, you need to miss a beat here eventually, right? Promote Tusk. Draw. That's good. Play Super Rod. 
I'll shuffle in two Tusk and a Psychic Energy. Earthen Vessel, discard Countercatcher for the Psychic Energy Artisan for Tusk. Conceal Cards. Trekking Shoes. Keep. Play Pow Pad. He's not missing the supporter. No, I'm There's not. There's no chance. <laughs> Pal pad say his vitality and explores guidance back into the deck. My deck's got to be filled with good stuff because I've got nothing but bad stuff in my hand. That's facts. <laughs> Trekking shoes again. Keep. Gear. Sadas. Play Sadas vitality to attach. Fighting to my active. Psychic to the bench and draw three. Attach double turbo to my bench tusk for turn. Counter catch a Cramorants. Ground collapse for four. Okay. Draw. Play Mirage Gate to get a grass and a water and put it on Giratina V Star. I mean, if I had the Iono in my hand, I think I might have a chance. But without that, I don't think I'm going to have enough turns. I'll attach to Cramorant and retreat. And actually play the other Mirage Gate. I need at least one more energy out of the deck. Uh, I think I'll just get them both. I'll just get all of them here. But I gotta just start one shine these things and hope that carries me. And then I will Lost Impact KO your Great Tusk for 280 damage. You're at 9, so you are getting closer to being able to Star yeah, Requiem. So my idea is that I Lost Impact one more time and then Star Requiem because it needs one less energy. And then, like, yeah. Promote Tusk. Draw, counter catcher Cramorant, bench Tusk, Sada's Vitality, and draw three. That's fine. Ground Collapse for four. Okay, draw. I can survive one more Ground Collapse. Let me play Super Rod to put a Water, a Grass, and... Why not? Let's put a Greninja back so we have more cards in the deck. I don't think it's going to matter, but I'll then go ahead and play Mirage Gate to put a Water on Cramorant and a Grass on Giratina. And then attach for turn to Cramorant, retreat, and use Lost Impact for the knockout. Tusk goes down. Jesse takes a prize. Only two left. Promote Tusk. Draw. Super Rod. Shuffle back in. Mimikyu. A Psychic Energy, and that's it. Then use Artisan to get the Mimikyu out. Explorer's Guidance. I'll keep Psychic and Bravery Charm. Discard these. Attach Bravery Charm to Mimikyu. Ground Collapse. And draw off turn. I'll play Nest Ball to switch cart. I will use Star Requiem for the knockout. Tusk is vanquished, but Jesse only has two cards left in deck. Yeah. Promote Tusk, draw, bench Pidgeot V, and use Vanishing Wings to put it back into my deck. Attach, Explorer's Guidance. I think I'll keep it. Ah, yes. Ground Collapse. Oh, I've been milled yet again. And since you cannot draw a card to start your turn... You lose the game. Yes. GG's. Yes, good game. Really close. I think I needed to manage my energy a little better on that last turn. I actually think I should have had a grass on that Cramorant instead of a Psychic. And then at that point, um, I had just enough energy to take my last prize with an Iron Leaves. You can see how close it is. I mean, if you oh, just yeah. miss a beat, you know, that gives me that extra prize to like potentially win me the game. So it's very close. Yeah, It is. But you could see how milling four cards a turn, you have a couple of key cards you really want to keep in your deck. You really want to keep the Iono. You really want to keep both your Super Rod. You really want to keep the Vacuum. But inevitably, some of those cards are going to get discarded. And if you start digging for them to try and find them to put them into your hand, then you're milling yourself. Exactly. Yeah. You're kind of a lose lose situation, especially with the Lost Zone deck, because a Lost Zone deck just needs to draw cards. You can't just have one guy in the active because the deck's built to counter that. You can't just be two shotting Great Tusk because at some point you're going to have tools. So the 160 is not doing enough. And then you have to evolve to a V Star, at which point then you can get out the Mimikyu and just wall me with that. So then it forces me to bench Cramorant, at which point you can 
counter catcher the Cramorant, then that's one more card I need to be able to move the Cramorant. And you might think switching Pokemon is easy in this deck, but not when like you're not trying to draw cards. So you right. don't have a lot of cards in your hand. So you're having to manually retreat it, which means you're not putting energy on Giratina. So lots of little things that the mill deck messes with you. And if you do keep all those broken item cards, they have that airy in the late game where you yeah. have this giant hand and they airy, they get rid of your two super rod or your vacuum. And it's really cool that that's like the one supporter that isn't ancient that's worth playing because just milling those cards. I mean, oh, yeah, milling a rod, that's cards. basically milling three. Yeah, um, if you so. can handpick double rod out of the hand, that's yeah. six, That's a six card hit, right. right? It's crazy. I can see why that deck did pretty good at Champions League for sure. This deck was a ton of fun to play. I'm really excited to see how Mill kind of just exists in the metagame. Because yeah, there's control too, like yeah. control and Mill. I mean, there were three control in top 16, which is like, yeah. uh-oh. <laughs> like, I know. That's kind of scary. So Things uh, are shifting. Yeah. How exciting. Thank <laughs> you.